everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're going to break down the root canal procedure step by step. If you've ever wondered what happens during this common dental treatment, you're in the right place. Let's get started. A root canal is a dental procedure designed to treat infection or damage within the pulp of a tooth. The pulp is the soft tissue inside the tooth that contains nerves and blood vessels. When it becomes infected or inflamed, it can cause severe pain and even lead to tooth loss if not treated promptly. The goal of a root canal is to save the tooth by removing the infected or damaged pulp and sealing it to prevent future issues. The first step in a root canal procedure is preparation. Your dentist will start by taking x-rays to assess the extent of the infection and to get a clear view of the root canals and surrounding bone structure. This helps them plan the procedure accurately. Next, local anesthesia is administered to numb the affected area. This ensures that you won't feel any pain during the procedure. While the thought of a root canal might sound intimidating, modern dentistry techniques make it relatively painless. Once the area is numb, the dentist will place a rubber dam around the tooth to keep it dry and free of saliva during the procedure. With the area prepared, the dentist will use a small drill to create an opening in the top of the tooth, called the crown. This provides access to the pulp chamber and root canal. Using specialized tools, the dentist carefully removes the infected or damaged pulp from the chamber and canals. This step is crucial to eliminating the source of infection and relieving pain. Once the pulp is removed, the dentist cleans and shapes the root canals. This involves using tiny files to remove any remaining debris and to ensure the canals are properly shaped for filling. To further disinfect the canals, the dentist may use an irrigation solution to flush out any remaining bacteria and debris. After the canals are cleaned and shaped, they are filled with a biocompatible material called gutta percha. This rubber-like material is placed into the canals to seal them and prevent future infection. The dentist then seals the opening in the crown with a temporary or permanent filling. This helps protect the tooth until a permanent restoration, like a crown, can be placed. In most cases, a crown is needed to protect and restore the tooth's function after a root canal. Your dentist will take an impression of your tooth to create a custom crown that fits perfectly. Once the crown is ready, it is placed over the tooth and cemented into place, providing strength and stability. After your root canal, it's normal to experience some sensitivity for a few days. Over-the-counter pain relievers can help manage any discomfort. It's important to follow your dentist's aftercare instructions and maintain good oral hygiene to ensure a smooth recovery. And that's it, a step-by-step -step breakdown of the root canal procedure. If you have any questions or if you're experiencing tooth pain, don't hesitate to reach out to your dentist. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more dental health tips.